Thank you for watching my 2011 Hot Wheels Year in Review videos. I'm using the 2011 factory sealed set. Uh, I open it up so this way I would have all the cars released for, from 2011 and we can talk about them. And let me know which was your favorites of the year. A cool thing about, oh, and by the way, since they came out of that set, that's why they have these stickers. All right, these were not in the stores. Uh, 550 of each car came in that set, and uh, that's why they have the stickers. So, cool thing about Hot Wheels. Oh, by the way, this video is going to be the new models uh, that are based on cars and trucks from before 1990. And if you want to see the new models that were based on real cars from 1990 and on, check my other videos. These two were very much being uh, looked forward to by collectors. The A-Team van, based on the hit TV show and uh, now recently remade into a movie. And the Back to the Future Time Machine, based on the De DeLorean. It is very cool to have cars in your collection that are based on famous properties. It's really neat when Mattel gets the license to put these in the lineup and uh, you know get them in the one dollar car range sometimes you know they gotta put plastic bases and stuff but hey it's a dollar okay or just a dollar and change can't beat it very cool that these two were in the lineup this year Brasilia nobody cares then we have I'm just kidding I know I got some uh, friends a little upset right now Volkswagen Brasilia. I like station wagons. And then, you know, this is kind of like a little spunky little station wagon. Uh, 70s or the 80s, this car was out. 73, it says in the back. You know, mainly in Brazil. I really like this car. So far, I've got every color. 2012 already has another color. It's got flames on it. Did you pick these up? Did you put them in your collection? I know I did. Is it your favorite of the year? Let me know. Two Nissans were introduced this year. Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GT-X and Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTR. Now I drove a Chevy Vegas so that car reminds me a lot of the Chevy Vegas. Pretty cool but I must admit I like this one and I know a lot of people like it as well. Because uh, they were being scooped up like crazy. This one's going to be a contender for me for the year. I'm going to put it right here. Trucks. Let's go ahead and get the trucks out of the way. The 63 Studebaker Champ was an awesome addition to the line. Just your basic work truck. Can you imagine out there in the country... Doing your work, got yourself a nice, reliable ride. 65 Ford Ranchero. Yeah, I love this Ranchero too. Great color. Nice little sporty uh, blown engine coming out there. Seventy Pontiac GTO Judge. This one I think is uh, based on a real car, and the other colors are as well. Some of you guys are big GTO fans. For me, uh, cars kind of start blending together. Chevelles and this car. It's hard for me to tell them apart because I wasn't a car nut when I was growing up. I just like collecting toy cars. It's neat to have it in the lineup, but it's hard for me to distinguish uh, between other cars. Copo Corvette, the 69 Copo Corvette. Now I have two black ones here because this uh, big box set it included the Walmart exclusive variations. So the top one, you see it's got Hot Wheels on the windshield there. Yeah, it's included in the box set. Pretty cool. I'll go ahead and set this aside now. Yeah, I'll keep it here. 
Red, white, and blue. You know I got a few of those. Red, white, and blue. Yep, got a few of those too. Uh, I don't even know if I bought that one. Because I had plenty of these. How about you guys? Did you get every color? Here's another one. Oh, you know an interesting thing? I broke up the set and I, I organized all the cars. Here's another one that got the uh, windshield ban banner that was exclusive to Walmart. See it there on the, the windshield? It says Hot Wheels. Those were only made for cases destined to go to Walmart. Now, they weren't exactly limited. I mean, they made a lot of them. But, uh, you know, what was interesting is Kmart and Toys R Us, they got limited for the year two for them. But neither one of them guys got new editions, or I should say new models. All of theirs were uh, special colors of series cars. Walmart was the only one that got special colors for the new models. Or a windshield banner. Anyways, 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport. It's all right model for the year. We have some Camaros. This one only got one color. And it was a good one, let me tell you. 70 Camaro Road Race. Race Team Decos. <coughs> Excuse me. It was not part of the... Uh, race team or the uh, Hot Wheels racing line though new model number 47 for the year and here's some uh, other Camaros the 68 Copo Camaro this red that they're using in the lineup man it's got a little bit of metal flake in there beautiful orange nice Mix up the line so this way you don't have the same color on every car. It makes it a little boring. This car is kind of funny. I had already picked up these, and then you know, and then another color comes out, then another color comes out, and it's like, man, I have how many colors are they doing one year? I didn't even realize they're two different cars. They were so similar. They were so similar I didn't even notice until all of a sudden, what the heck is that thing right there? And then that's when I found, oh my gosh, I've been leaving them on the pegs. So then I had to go through the pile and see which ones I had and which ones I didn't. But anyways, here we have the uh, 63 Ford Mustang Concept. This one's kind of cool. I, I like the white one. It, for some reason, it looks kind of classy like that with the light blue interior. Looks like something you'd be driving on the beach. This one. I like this car better than that one. 69 Shelby GT500. Three colors released for the year. Which of these cars, these are all pre-1990 now, which of these new models were your favorites for the year? Here we have the 71 Dodge Challenger. Three cars released for the year. This one was a little more special because it was in uh, relation to the Green Lantern movie. Hence the Green Lantern logo on the card. Now it was not rare. They were all over the place. It was mass produced. But it's kind of neat, like I said, to have something in relation to a, uh, a licensed property, a, a, a movie or whatnot. And last but not least, here we have the 70 Dodge Charger RT. Two colorways. I love. I love that purple. Sweet. So, which cars were your favorites from the year? Lots of fantastic new models. Fifty altogether. This video just has the ones that were based on models, real cars, from uh, earlier than 1990. These four are cars that I really liked seeing in the lineup this year. This one's all right. We're going to cut them. These three are left. For me, car of the year. Eighteen van. I'm going to pick the eighteen van as my car of the year. Yep. I, uh, I was a child of the 80s. Not really. 81. Graduated high school. So, I was prime time watching this show. Glad to have it in the lineup. What about you guys? 
Bye bye.